Equipment can function only when there is energy flow continuous. What is the vitality that is inspiring you and enlivening you? So then the spirit is... All right, all right, there is a God, there is a life in it, okay. But what is his contribution? I know the BMI, what they contribute. I know the world of OET can give me some pleasure now and then. Lot of sorrow, but now and then some pleasure. I know their contribution. What does this Bhagavan contribute? Eh? There is a spirit there, okay? There is consciousness. So what? In all BMI, physical, mental, and intellectual encounters with OET, in every action, physical, mental, or intellectual, when you come in contact with the world outside and respond to them, it is an action, and every action, the end result is either a joy or a sorrow. There is no third variety. You may third or fourth variety, you can make it saying that less joy or less sorrow, more joy, more sorrow. That is all you are evaluating. What happens in every contact with the world outside is either a joy or a sorrow. Even here, you are contacting what I am talking. Is an extrovert? Activity of the years and your intellect with what I am talking. Those who are sleepy, they say, I don't know why I came. I should have continued sleeping. You know? They are sorrow. Those who have understood the idea, they are thrilled. <laughs> he, woo! The end result of every action is joy or sorrow. The joy and sorrow are not expressing in your knee or on your heels or on your elbow, where do you feel joy and sorrow? Joy and sorrow are judgments of the intellect. I am happy, I am unhappy, who says? The intellect judges. So joy and sorrow are happening in M and I. Mind, intellect, take up. But how do I experience it? Because I am conscious of that. Ayya. So, if consciousness were not there, there would have been neither joy nor sorrow. Life would have been zero. Pure zero. So then, in order to make you experience and enjoy both joy and sorrow, all your experiences, Hedu Prahdiru Hedu Purusha Uchade. He is Purusha Sugadukhana Bhoktritve Hedu. The Purusha is the light of consciousness, is because of which you are able to experience and become conscious of the end result of all your actions, joy or sorrow. So all the activities are taking place in the world of matter. The spirit, the consciousness is merely the illuminator, the avera, the one who gives substance to your life of joy or sorrow. <coughs> so Purusha is a source of light, illumining your bosom, your experiences inside as well as your experience outside through the sense organ. I become conscious of what I see, what I hear, what I smell, what I taste. <coughs> this is his job, just as a sun in humans. This is his job. All happenings are in the world. In, a, in the sun there are no happenings. 
None of the worldly happenings, all right. Say that way. <coughs> Everything is illumined by His light. The Spirit illumines the light of Spirit, uh, be becomes aware of, because of which we are aware of all our experiences. When this is understood, when, why do you say that matter and spirit are mingled together? Ah, coming. 